if you got no quantity, you've got no easing. <laughs> Quantitative easing. Quantitative easing. I'm going to be saying that all day. You need quantity to have the easing. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Bee Adventures. I figured I'd do a daily vlog here in Australia. Uh, I mean, you know, show you a bit, little, just a little bit of the daily bump and grind, and also, um, you know, be fun, little adventure because a little issue I'm dealing with. So, you know, I do a lot of business work. I've got a corporate background, but I do a lot of business consulting work. So, see me in my suit. You know, this is how you'll usually see me in Australia, if not, you know, in a t-shirt. So, yeah, this is the daily grind, guys. I mean. There's no shortcuts, you know, you still got to work hard and that's how I pay for my trips and go traveling around the world, you know That's just a small part of my life. You guys get to see Now this came up a physical check, right? A physical paper check one of these My local bank st. George were being real pricks and the other week I tried to bank this check. It's only $116 US. So it's an international bank check But they were really annoying and they turned me away. Basically. They said it's a $40 processing fee uh, they're like kind of you know, we don't really want to deal with that. You know, maybe you can ask for electronic payment I did I went back to the vendor and asked for electronic payment, but that's just their business process meaning if they cut a paper check That's what they use. But yeah, always try and use electronic payment You know, it's more convenient and it's also a direct trace a direct transaction between the two parties. But anyway, look for whatever reason uh, That's the way they operate Meaning the US vendor I'm dealing with so I just want to bank this check. We're going to go on this little journey and hopefully it works out. So now I'm going to try and go back this time and complain to the manager. And we'll see if the manager does something or maybe we can get this thing processed. But uh, anyway, wish me luck. Alright guys, i got some good news. I've got to be careful about showing my details. See this yellow receipt paper? This is the bank receipt. Got it done. Yay! Success! Got it done. So long story short, we think what happened was, it was a Friday night when I went in, or Friday afternoon. So the staff were lackluster, you know, they couldn't care less. Um, so they basically turned me away. Now I've come back on a business day wearing a suit. They're treating it a bit more seriously. I got Sarah. Uh, I don't want to maybe say her full name, she was a bit shy. She was so professional. She said, sir, can I help you when I was lining up at the bank? Uh, customer service uh, rep and you know she's typically working weekdays like this in the busy times and I said yeah I want to see the manager I want to make a complaint and also talk about closing my account she goes well okay that's not a problem she goes uh, in the meantime is there anything else I can do for you and I explained the whole check story bank check story uh, international check and she said okay sir look just hold on um, for starters maybe I can help process that so she took a look at it everything she said yep yeah, it's totally fine she processed it she said Yes, there's a $40 fee, but she goes, I will waive the fee. That's bullcrap. You shouldn't have to pay a $40 fee. And she said, and it's a new process. Now, their story is they physically mail this back to USA, back to the country it came from, and asked them to pay electronically. And that sounds very counterintuitive. Sounds like bullcrap. But apparently, that's what they do. So that's why it's such an expensive fee. But um, yeah, so long term, I need to find a better long term solution, like get this vendor to pay me electronically or something like that. But two, I, uh, more importantly, what I wanted. I wanted to bank an international check. We got it done. She said, be patient. It does take a couple of weeks just because, you know, international check, it's slow. And that's it, got it done. And I, and I thanked her and I said, can I get a selfie? And she goes, no, no, I'm like embarrassed. And the staff came up going, no, you're not allowed to take selfies. You're not allowed to take uh, pics of the bank and oh, whatever. So I said, look, I'm not trying to embarrass you. It was just that I wanted to say thank you and you know get you on camera or whatever. But she's like, no, no, look, she goes, I'm doing my job. She did a wonderful job. So thank you, Sarah at St. George. Um, like I said, I'll give her a full shout out, but she's a bit shy and she didn't, you know, she didn't uh, want all the credit. Uh, and also she saved me from closing down my account today. But it also does bigger question. Maybe I should look at another bank, you know, uh, you know, keep it competitive. So moral of the story, guys, sometimes we get roadblocks. We're not successful think take a breather what do you actually want to do what are you trying to do what outcome are you looking for for me it was to bank an international check got it done two sometimes you got to change your approach yeah and that sounds obvious you know it's when people say pivot you got to pivot a little it means you got to you know change your approach you know you never know <laughs> all right let's keep going 
<laughs> guys really quickly in the car um the bank manager just called me we had a long chat like like 15 minutes and because i already left the bank uh and she just apologized to say look i'm sorry you had such a bad experience and it's been multiple bad experiences so she apologized she said look one we've been charging you a five dollar a month account fee she said you shouldn't be paying that like she told me some tips and tricks so you don't have to pay it she's going to refund those for you uh we're going to waive the fees and charges you know from from these other muck-ups and um yeah and she said look and i'll and we'll give you a bump on your cash savings interest <laughs> ridiculous ridiculous but anyway the the point is guys it's not a matter of just complaining i want to be very clear about this it's about rights and on the other side responsibility you have rights but you also have responsibility if you've done your responsibility part then you get rights but you don't get the benefit unless you're responsible for it do you see how it works everyone wants the benefit but they don't want the responsibility so that's why that went down because she said look you're you're a pretty big customer you do a lot of business we're looking at your transactions obviously inside my bank account you know i'm not going to talk about that but she's like yeah i can see you, you know you do some business you're a contractor you got money coming in and out um we're very sorry and we want you to stay as a customer so can you see like i've done my part as a customer banks need deposits to stay in business for those of you who don't understand banks need deposits to stay in business so if you move your cash if you take your cash out and move it somewhere else they're not going to have a business no more. Uh, my friend Scott, I'll give him a shout out. My friend Scott uh, made a joke. He called, you know, quantitative easing? There's an economic policy called quantitative easing. He says, if you ain't got quantity, you ain't got no easing. If you don't have the quantity, there's nothing to ease. So some of you will get that joke if you're into economics. What that means is when there's a recession and the economy melts, well, they'll be begging for business, right? So... It's called value add. You take care of your customers, you add value, you know, you try to do the right thing, value add. You make sure you tell them so they know what you're doing. But the whole idea is you add value. So when there's a recession, when the economy goes bad, well, people are gonna keep coming back to you because they know, you know, you're good. You do the right thing, you value add. So you get back to the whole, if you want rights, you gotta have responsibility. If you have responsibility, then you have rights. You know, it goes both ways. But anyway, so happy days, huh? Things are going well. I'm winning. Yeah, I'm winning. And I was really stressed. That's why I'm telling you. I'm not showing off. I was like really stressed out. Like, oh, stupid bank. And I have to change my bank account. And, uh, and more stress, you know. So yeah, I'm winning. Keep winning. Do it. Grocery store. Sardines. Coffee. Corn chips. We got the groceries. Now it's time to drop off a dead body. <laughs> there you are. Gotta drop off the package. enjoyed those shots it was actually a recycling center we're big on recycling here in australia which is good you know uh, we care about the environment and all that so just dropping off some stuff maybe it was the evidence no it was just like you know plastic and bottles and stuff nothing exciting uh but anyway hope you enjoyed a business day with be adventures this is my regular life here in australia so i work a day job for those of you who don't understand so maybe show you guys a little bit more of my daily life and bump and grind. And, uh, you know, like some impo important lessons today. You know, it's just some little things, but how can I say it? Uh, I was also dealing with some other business issues where some people had lied. They'd lied and misrepresented. And when we checked their business registrations and business licensing and insurance and all that, uh, it was no good. It was no good, they're operating unregistered, so it was just to do with some, some business stuff, you know, some clients and whatever. But the point is, hey, you got to keep an eye out, guys. you got to keep an eye out, because I meant what I said. Uh, you know, you have rights, but you also have responsibilities. So, yeah, you know, don't put up with it. That's the whole point. Don't put up with lies, don't put up with the bull crap. And, uh, yeah, I had to report them. I had to report that other business, so we'll see how that goes down. You know, regulators are dealing with it now, and uh, hopefully we crushed them.
Hopefully we get rid of them. Not out of spite or vengeance. Uh, you know, we, we can't put up with it. You know, we can't have people like that cheating the system because they get paid for doing the wrong thing. Well, that's bad. We can't reward people for doing the wrong thing, so we've got to crush them. We've got to get rid of them. And that way, hopefully, you know, the better vendors stay in business and the better vendors are the ones, uh, you know, who get rewarded. That's the way it should be. Honest people. Honest people should be rewarded, you know. Anyway, and of course, you know, keep winning. That's also the other moral. Keep winning. Keep working hard. Keep fighting. It's not easy, but keep winning. All right, you can get there. Just maybe you have to change your approach. Alrighty. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. If you want to see the previous video, click here. And if you want to see the next video, click here. As always, thanks for watching and be adventures out. So tell me what you want. It's on an episode of Cribs in a bathroom I can play baseball in. And a king size top for 10 plus me. I need a credit card that's got no limit.